I heard from Melody that you were looking for me. How may I be of assistance? Oh. You wanted to know how my date went. No, it didn't go as I had hoped. It had nothing to do with the way I looked. Your skills as a makeup artist didn't go unnoticed. It was one of the first things he complimented me on. He just doesn't fancy me. Such is life. Not everyone can find love. I'm pretty sure he won't remember me anyways. Oh. I erased his memory. Well... Erased isn't the most accurate word. More along the lines of using strong mental suggestions to change memories. So he wouldn't remember me, and he could move on with his life. And in the end, it did not matter. Yes, I hypnotized him. No, I did not use it on you. That's not how it works. I wish not to speak of it. I told you, I wish not to speak of it. Apologies. I didn't mean to get short with you. Not the most pleasant of memories. Perhaps another time we could speak of it. Oh, I don't know if I will look for love again. It is something I desire, but I can't be selfish and desert those who rely on me here. I suppose I could do both, but the responsibility of my estate takes up so much of my time. I don't see how it is feasible. More goes on here in my estate than you realize. Things not to worry your mind with. What is it, Silas? Is that all? Thank you. You know what to do. You are perturbed by my coldness. Gideon has grown weak. This was before you had arrived. That is why you haven't met him. We rearranged his services to better fit his condition. Unfortunately, humans are weak creatures. To be honest, I'm surprised he lasted this long. I have many books on medicine as well as many healing plants, so there's no need to go outside the manor. Real medicine. Do you not know that medicine originated from plants? Healers of old look to nature to heal. And if I recall correctly, your doctors have yet to stop a person from aging. Yes, Gideon was well along in years. There's nothing that could have been done about it. Turning him wouldn't have saved him. I did everything in my power to help him. Yet it wasn't enough. There will not be a funeral, though I might suspect that there will be a few who will hold a small ceremony for him. They are more sensitive to the passing of others. I suggest you speak with Mark or Jane, but do your best to be discreet. They know how I feel about funerals, but that won't stop them. You may look upon me as a monster, but I am not heartless. I care for those under me. I believe we have stayed on these depressing topics for too long. I prefer a more cheerful one. Namely, you. How are you doing? I see you're still walking with a bit of a limp. <laughs> Melody was always more of a mother hen. 
I shall ask her to give you more space. You may not be steady on your feet just yet, but that's not enough reason to keep you in your bed for all hours of the day. Healing always takes longer than what we would like, but it's good to hear that you are improving. At least today has some good news in it. Would you like to join me out in the garden tonight? There's nothing quite like it. Excellent. I shall have Mark escort you. This will give you a chance to speak to him about the funeral. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have things I must attend to. Until we meet again.